Hi, this is Keith Richberg. I'm the director at the Journalism and Media Studies Center at the University of Hong Kong. One of the things we're most proud of are, is our international uh, faculty, but also our international student body. Uh, we have students from a, a number of countries. Uh, I'm sitting here with one of them. This is Ernie Chan, who came all the way here from uh, Toronto. That's and right. uh, let me just uh, ask you, first of all, it's a long way from Canada to, to Hong Kong. I mean, how did you decide to come here? How did I decide to come here? Um, my parents are originally from Hong Kong. Okay. Uh, so after I graduated uh, from my previous uh, schooling experience, uh, I decided there was no better time to go out and see the world. So that's how I ended up here. Great. And now, did you have any journalism experience before coming here? None whatsoever. Okay. So why did you pick JMSC? Why the University of Hong Kong? Uh, well, I was in Hong Kong already. I've been working in Hong Kong for a number of years, and I had known a few people that had attended the JMSC. They had good things to say about it. Um, I liked the international focus of the JMSC, and uh, I was really looking forward to uh, really learning under the uh, international staff uh, that they had here. Okay, so you've been here now, what, about the one half of the first semester. Uh, mm -hmm. What are your impressions? Um, it's a lot of work. <laughs> It's a lot of work. Um, I think I'm, I'm surprised by uh, what I'm enjoying. Um, I didn't think I would enjoy, uh, say, video news and production so much, but I'm, I'm finding that I'm actually quite uh, liking it. Okay, and you're planning to make the transition now into journalism? You want to stay in it? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, that's the plan. And, and do you think JMSC is going to give you the skills that you'll need to compete in this uh, new journalism marketplace? Yeah, so far I, I do feel like I'm being prepared uh, well to kind of become the new style of journalist that everyone keeps talking about, so. Do you think you're going to focus on the writing side or the video side or digital, multimedia? What are, what are you, what are I'd you like to be at? able to combine all in, in a single package, if that is possible. Well, that's one of the things we're most uh, proud of here, the fact that we do offer, well, everybody, it's really core courses, uh, video, uh, digital, the basic writing and reporting. Mm -hmm. And also, we also have a course in media law and ethics to basically give people the kind of the, the legal and ethical framework they need to be journalists. Did anything surprise you when you got here? Um, I think the international student body uh, was a nice surprise. Um, I, I was expecting, maybe I was expecting a lot more uh, students from the local area. Um, so I was quite surprised and uh, happy that a lot of my cohort is so international. I think we have students from Mexico, from Italy, uh, from, from Asian countries, some from mainland China, of course, some from Hong Kong, also the US, and uh, we even have a student from Russia this year, so it's a, pretty, <laughs> right. it's a pretty good mix. Yeah. Well, great. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying your time here. I hope, uh, you know, I hope you will recommend JMSC to others if anyone else is looking for a place, if they, especially if they get the Asia bug and want to come out and study journalism. <laughs> Definitely. And if any of you out there watching this are interested in coming to Hong Kong and you have the bug for Asia and for journalism, uh, we hope you'll check out the JMSC and come and join our family.